Okay, let's talk about setting goals. When I first met Earl Schoff, not long after we had met each other, he asked me, Mr. Rohn, maybe here's one of the best ways I can help you. He said, let me see your current list of goals and let's go over them and talk about them. He said, I've got the experience. And he said, uh, let's do it. And I said to him, I don't have a list. He said, wow, you don't have a list of your goals. I said, no. He said, well, if you don't have a list of your goals, he said, I can guess your bank balance within a few hundred dollars, which he did. And I thought, isn't that something? Then I said to him, you mean if I had a list of goals, it would change my bank balance? He said, drastically. So that got my attention. And all those years ago, I learned how to set goals. But now let's make these notes now on setting goals. The promise of the future is an awesome force. We look back for experience, but we have to look forward now for inspiration. And what gives us inspiration to get up in the morning and do our job, learn skills, develop all that we can possibly be, is the promise of the future. And it can be so powerful that it can overwhelm any adversary you might have, any difficulties you might have. Here's a key phrase, reasons make the difference in how your life works out. Reasons make the difference in your appetite and zest for taking on the challenge, doing the job, becoming successful. Mr. Schoff said, if you have enough reasons, you can do the most incredible things. You can get through the most difficult day. You can overcome the most unbelievable challenges if you have enough reasons. And so he said to me, if you haven't got a list of your goals, Mr. Rohn, it's probably because you don't have enough reasons. He said, I'm sure since I've met you, you have enough intelligence. And he said, you have enough good health. And he said, you have, you know, all of those things working for you. But here's what you must work on now is to have enough reasons. Looking into the future, developing reasons. So now make these notes. We're primarily affected by five things. Number one is the environment, the political environment, the social environment, the physical environment. Whatever surrounds us affects us. The city, the country, the countryside, the village, the office, the people. We're constantly affected and shaped by our reaction and decision-making. A lot of it depends on the environment. Next, we're affected by events. Some events affect us all. Some affect the world regionally, nationally, or by the state or by the community. But some events affect us all. Now, here's the next one. We're affected by what we know. What you know, what you don't know. The accumulation of knowledge or the lack of knowledge affects your dreams, affects your future, affects your income, affects your bank account, affects your associations, affects everything. It's great to hear Charlie talk about reading books. So important. All the speakers here have mentioned, right? You've got to really be a student, study, so you can learn how to make wise decisions It'll give you the best chance to build for the future. Okay, here's what's next. We're affected by results. Whatever your current economic results, whatever projects you've launched, the results up until now, that affects you. The results you've had in the past, up until now, that's affected you. Now here's number five. We're affected by our dreams. Our dreams meaning our view of the future for ourselves. Now here's a note to make. It's important to make sure that the greatest pull on your life is the pull of the future. Now we talked yesterday about reviewing the past, which is fine, but we're not to live in the past. Some people let the past pull them back, pull them back. The past can be like gravity if you let it to pull you back. 
not just to think about it to get advice from mistakes to carry on for the future, but some people live in the past. They live in the darkness of the past. They live in the mistakes of the past. They live in the discouragement of the past. They didn't make it, you know, and that affects them for the rest of their life living in the past. So we don't want the future, uh, the past to pull us back, to live in the past and all other kinds of things that affect us. It's going to affect us to some extent, but not to the extent that we should be affected by the future. So make this note, dreams and goals can become magnets. Dreams and goals can become magnets. And the stronger the goal, the higher the purpose, the more powerful the objective, the stronger this magnet is that pulls you that direction. Now, not only does your goals and your object objectives pull you that direction, here's what they also do. They pull you through. They pull you through all kinds of down days. They pull you through a difficult time. It'll pull you through some winter of your life. Some people get lost in the confusion of the day simply because their goal is not bright enough to pull them through. Next, it's goals that drive us to take advantage of the spring. Why would the farmer put the plow in the ground in the spring if he couldn't see the vision of the harvest when the summer is finished? Is it possible to see the finished harvest? And the answer is yes. We do that simply by faith. Key phrase, faith is the ability to see things that don't yet exist. And that's how things exist. How did this hotel get here? Someone saw it while the property was vacant. You say, well, can you, is it possible to see this hotel when it isn't here? And the answer is yes, of course. If somebody cannot see it when it is not here, then it will never be here. So it's possible to see things that don't yet exist. Interesting. So have you got that now? It's possible to finish something before you start. In fact, it would be a bit foolish to start until you had it finished. So human beings have this remarkable ability to finish something and then start it. So here's what we want to do in our goal setting session is to start looking into the future of what you would like to accomplish, and where you would like to go, the person you would like to be, and see if you can't get a better picture of the finished objective. See yourself there, see yourself in possession of. I was in business with Bob Cummings, the old movie star for a while. He said, decide what you want and then act as if you already had it. And being an actor, he could give us a few tips on acting. Decide what you want and act as if it was already yours. Now, the reason we can act thinking that it's already ours is because not only can we vision the end results, we can also vision the beginning of making it real. So we don't start till it's finished, but it is possible for human beings to finish something before they start. Now here's the next note to make. Five years from now, you will arrive. The question is where? This is for mature people now. If you keep up your present disciplines and keep up the present pace that you're on, where will you be in five years? Boy, it's easy to say, hey, I haven't really thought about that. So now make this note. In five years, here's the probability. You will either arrive at a well-designed destination or an undesigned destination. Well-designed or undesigned. And I promise you, five years from now, you, you really don't want to arrive at an undesigned destination. Because you may very well wind up wearing what you don't want to wear, driving what you don't want to drive, living where you don't want to live, maybe doing what you don't want to do simply because you didn't design a better destination. So, five years from now, I wish for you to arrive at a well-designed place. A place of productivity, a place that'll make you feel good about yourself, a place that'll give you honor and respect, 
a place that will give you influence to touch other people five years from now that you couldn't do today? Where will you be in five years? Key phrase, we go the direction we face. We go the direction we face. If you start designing something at the end of this direction, sure enough, you will start going the direction you face. And we face the direction we design. Next phrase, direction determines destination. Destination is not determined by hope. It's not determined by wish. Destination is determined by direction. You cannot change destination overnight. You cannot change destination overnight. Which means you can't arrive at a five years from now place tomorrow. But here's what you can change today and overnight. You can change direction. It's only a small journey to a new direction. Guess how quickly you can change your health? By starting to eat an apple a day. Mama said an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Let's say you've been ill long enough, and you've had health problems long enough, and you say, that's it. That's over. I'm going to now start a program. You don't have to really revolutionize your whole health life. Just start with an apple a day. You say, well, is it that simple to change your health life? And the answer is, yes. The key is just to start. You know, you pick up a book on good health, and you get halfway through the book, and it says, now, dear reader, set this book aside, fall down on the floor, and see how many push-ups you can do. And then it goes on to say, and if you have not done that, why not give this book away? <laughs> it looks like you're not going to do it. Come on, you don't have to radically do something. You can gain momentum and make changes as you go. Just start. Here's what happens when you start a new direction. Self-esteem starts to accelerate. It doesn't take much for you to feel good about yourself. Just commit it to a new direction and you feel good. That's how easy it is to change your life. You don't need some dramatic vision. Just begin something. And maybe by health or by whatever other things we can think of to do, you just get back on a better track, okay? It's a small journey to changing direction. And by the time we finish our workshop right after lunch, I think you're going to have a concept of how powerful it can be, not only how easy it can be, but how powerful it can be to change every part of your life for the future. <laughs>